Hi, welcome back. This is part six of uh, Talk Tuesday this week. I am Susan B. Lahaki, running for President of the United States as a write-in, and this is my Matter Studio. Welcome. So to continue on the topic of crime and police brutality and uh, all of uh, all the different levels of um, law enforcement we saw, you know, we have the police, right? Well, I guess we have neighborhood watch too. Then we have like community watch and then we have uh, police. Then we have, um, I suppose, National Guard, Reserves, U.S. Marshals, FBI, CIA. Then we have um, Homeland Security. We have the Coast Guard. Then we have the Army, Air Force, Marines, Navy. Did I forget anybody? Air Force. We got a lot of military people. And all these groups seem to have lots of big guns. Now, you know, when I was growing up, I don't think we had so many big guns. I don't think our military was so well stocked and all the various law enforcement departments, I think, you know, they were, they were fine to have just a gun and be done with it. But nowadays they have all sorts of things, you know, tasers and guns and tear gas and it's just crazy. So basically, you know, we're escalating ourselves into our own war here in the United States. <coughs> <coughs> Between the public and law enforcement. And it's getting scary. <coughs> Excuse me. It's a little dry in here. Um, so we saw peaceful protests go on, but then they were quelled by, in my opinion, brutality. Now, I know the policemen were acting on orders from their departments. So, I'm going to say the acceptable level of deterrent is brutal in the United States, period. I'm sorry, there's no other way to say it. And we are overexposed to brutality, maybe not necessarily all of us in real life, but in the movies and the TV shows that we watch. Um, you know, I don't know if you've noticed, but every year there's like a new brutality season that comes out with series about new ways to kill people and blow things up and, you know, I don't know. We, we, it's not necessary to witness killings and murderings on TV on a weekly basis. Um, so we've gotten ourselves all worked up and because the, I don't know, the companies who sell weapons wanted to make a profit, they started finding that, oh, I can sell it to the police and I can sell it to Homeland Security and I can, you know, and they made a lot of money because the government kept buying. So now we have this problem. We have too many weapons. 
they are in the hands of law enforcement. And I understand that they're cool to have, you know, it's nice to have a taser and a gun and all these various ways of stopping somebody. But there's no need for that. Again, it's a waste of money. I don't know how it got passed. I don't know who said this was a good idea. But it's not necessary. You're not battling an enemy. We are the public. We are U.S. citizens, just like you are. We are your neighbor. There's no need to walk around with all sorts of military weapons on your body when you're doing law enforcement. I'm sorry. No, no one can tell me this is okay, because this is not okay. If a peaceful protest is going on, you don't need to use tear gas. They're peaceful. If you don't want them to be peaceful, then by all means use tear gas. If you don't want them to use to be peaceful, then by all means drive your car into a group of people and force them out of the way. I mean, these are your neighbors. These are U.S. citizens and civilians. This, this, it's not an invading army. These are people who are tired of not being heard, and they want to be heard. Now, President Trump, I have already asked you many times to sit down with these peaceful protesters and talk to them. And now I know that on occasion you have. And I will say that things seem to be calmer now, which is good. But I don't know if you also found it acceptable, the level of brutality that we saw in dealing with the peaceful protesters. I am not comfortable with that. I am also shocked at all the levels of military that we have and that, you know, everybody was coming out of the woodwork uh, over the last six, seven months. It's crazy. How many guns do we have to have? No, it doesn't work for me. So we need to reduce the amount of layers of military we have. We are just citizens. We're not bad people. We're not. We're, we're you. We're your neighbor. We're, we're your church friend, you know. We're the shopper. We're the work, worker at the store that you like to go to. We're not the enemy. But what we are are people who want to be heard. And I told you, Mr. Trump, to have the mayor sit down with these people. Listen to them. Find out who the bad apples are and get them out. You know, I bet you, you already know which ones they are. You get them out of the force. And as I said in my first, or no, in my second talk, I think it was this time on police, yeah. We need longer police training, that's for sure. And police need shorter work week and more time with their families. Yes, so uh, shorter work week does not mean less pay. It just means that they need to spend time with their families. So what we also probably do need is more people to sign up for the force. And what that also means is that you cannot turn people away who are qualified just because they don't look like you. Um, so, yeah, we need to um, demilitarize our local law enforcement, period. So I don't watch these violent shows on TV. I used to when I was younger. But, you know, it came to a point where, you know, how many times do I have to see, you know, people being blown up and stuff when 
I'm living in the United States. Or in that case, I was living in Switzerland, where there is no war going on. Why am I watching this on TV? You know, so at some point I said, you know, this is ridiculous. I can't do this anymore. So I stopped. And, um, you know, I feel less stressed. Also, not watching violence on TV forced upon me, I might add, you know, because you never know what's coming up in the story and then suddenly things turn violent. So um, I think Hollywood, film producers, book writers, movie writers, it's time. I'm calling you out. It's time to make some peaceful movies. Let's get back to some classic Hollywood. This has gone too far. It's not funny anymore. It's not entertainment. You know, we are over stimulated in violence, whether it's real or not. Our mind doesn't know the difference. And that's the other problem. That's what we're seeing. So it's time to go back 